How's it going guys? Welcome back to another review video. Today we're gonna be reviewing the Portrait of Pirates DX Bartholomew Kuma. This is a very very big figure and the box is huge. Here I'll show you the box. As you can see the box is pretty huge. You can barely fit in the frame. So here it says excellent model series. We got the POP Portrait of Pirates DX down here. We got a picture of the figure on this side. Over here we got the toy sticker. And it says One Piece. From TV animation One Piece. And there you go. Let's move on to the side of the box. On this side. We can see it says Bartholomew Kuma over here. You can see a picture, if you want to post him as a pacifista, you can. And here, of course, just the regular Kuma, another side of the figure. Here on the back of the box, we got a picture of him with Zoro. If you have that Portrait of Pirates figure, then they would look awesome together. The scale is pretty accurate, so Kuma is way bigger than Zoro, so if you got this figure you can post them like that. The other side, pretty similar to the other one, just excellent model series, Bartholomew Kuma. Here on the bottom, on the top of the box, I guess this says Bartholomew Kuma in Japanese and then more P.O.P. Let's move on to the bottom, nothing in the bottom. Now let's move on to the figure and everything it comes with. So this is basically how it comes with, you can put his Bible on his hand, with his gloved hands. We have the other hand, gloved hand, just making a fist, he got his paw hands. I like to pose him with one paw hand and then the other hand with the Bible, I'll show you in a second. Here we got his pacifista face, he's about to shoot a laser from his mouth, we got his pacifista hands with his little holes to shoot the lasers from. So that's really cool. It's basically two figures in one, Kuma and the Pacifista. Here we got a good look at his Bible. I really like the colors on the Bible. It does look awesome. There you can see all the detail, all the lines to make it seem like all the pages are there. You cannot open it, of course, it's, it's just one piece. Like that. Here we got the base. It says seven worlds to see. It's a typo. It's supposed to be seven warlords. Then the world government symbol it says world government and Bartholomew Kuma on the bottom. So just a black base. Here we can see the whole figure. As you can see, it's pretty huge. His body is really huge relative to his legs. His legs are really tiny. Then his hands. You can take a good look at his legs. His little kind of ball pattern on his pants. And then the... You can see sh some shading over here. And then the little wrinkles on his pants. And his knees. And then the bottom. You can see all the detail looks amazing. We even got some pockets over here. And his boots are pretty simple, they've got no pattern, nothing, they're just a plain brownish color. And for his torso, and his jacket, you can see, got the little zipper going down the middle, and then the paw design on his jacket. And then this big like crosshair kind of thing. This figure looks awesome, dude. And he's huge, so even better for the price. And the back, pretty simple. We just got a line going through. And then the same pattern on the bottom. And 
Yeah, now let's move on to his face and his hair. I don't believe the head comes off. Only the face part and the hat. So here, let me show you the hat. So here, let me show you his hat. Here we got the ears. And then the same pattern that we had on the, on the pants. Same thing on the hat. Of course, this is the back. And then this is the front of the hat. And this is where it goes on his face. So when you take the hat off like that, you can slide his face off like that. Then here's the regular Kuma face. So that's if you want to change it up with the pacifista face. Let's do that right now. We got the pacifista face. Now you just slide it in here. Slide the hat back on. You can move the head around if you want a little bit. Look into the sides. Here we got him with a pacifista face. And now, to change the hands. They just come in a, in a ball joint. So they're pretty easy to come off. So you can move his arms up and down like this. Like that, there we go. If you wanna pose him like that, I say pacifista. Like he's attacking everybody, you can just do do that. I honestly like it better, just the Kuma, regular Kuma himself. This is how I like to pose him personally. So for the Bible, there's always a little bit of difficulty to stay in there, because as you can see, if you try to put it like that will not stay in there so you kind of have to adjust the hand so it's out a little bit and then you can balance the bible like that so it does not stay in there pretty well but if you manage to do it make sure you don't have to move him again because if you move him the bible will fall so that's my only complaint about the figure really here i like to pose these two together we got him with the creator x creator zoto as you can see the scale with this figure and this one they look pretty nice how it's actually supposed to be kuma is supposed to be huge but zoto is just normal human size wise of course so i like to put to them both like this kind of i just like to pose them like that like they're both about to fight, I think if you post them like that, they look really awesome together. Here we can see some scale comparison. So with the Soccer King figure, he's like about an average size for a POP. So you can see how, how big the Kuma really is. You can see he's huge, freaking insane. And then you can see how this one is just a little bit smaller than, the, than your average POP. So yeah, that's about it for the figure. As you can see, it is really, really big, so it, it is really worth it. The shipping might cost a lot, so watch out for that. But otherwise, I think the figure is really, really good. It's really detailed, I really like the paint job, it looks awesome. The figure is pretty huge, that's a plus. So compared to other Portrait of Pirates figures, you can see, of course, the detail is there, but he's just way bigger. So there you have the figure guys, let me know if you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.